The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is one of the most commonly injured ligaments in the knee. Ligaments are strong, non-elastic fibers that connect our bones together. The ACL crosses inside of the knee, connecting the thigh bone to the leg. It provides stability to the knee joint. ACL tears commonly occur in very active people and athletes while pivoting, slowing down from running, or landing from a jump. The ACL can tear completely or partially. It is common to damage other knee structures such as the meniscus or cartilage along with the ACL. ACL tears can cause knee pain, swelling, instability, and buckling. You may not be able to fully straighten your knee or walk. Surgical treatment is most frequently needed when other injuries are involved. ACL reconstruction uses an arthroscope so the joint does not have to be opened up. The arthroscope is inserted through small incisions and allows the surgeon to see and perform surgery with thin instruments. Here's a look at the procedure. To begin, small incisions are made near the joint. The joint space is filled with a sterile saline solution to allow easier viewing of the joint. The arthroscope is inserted and repositioned to see the joint from different angles. Other small incisions may be made to perform the surgery and repair the damaged cartilage. Your damaged ACL will be replaced with a healthy tendon called a graft. In this case, the graft is from the hamstring. The bone is prepared and the graft is attached and secured with surgical hardware. The incisions are closed and bandaged. Soon after your surgery, physical therapy will help you gain strength and motion. At first, you will need crutches or a walker while standing or walking. Recovery times differ depending on the severity of your injury, the type of procedure that you had, and your health at the time of the surgery. Arthroscopic surgery has a reduced risk of infection and less pain, bleeding, and swelling than open surgery and a faster recovery time. You may be able to resume some regular activities in one to three weeks and full sporting activity in about six months. To prevent future injuries, keep your quadriceps and hamstrings very strong and follow your safety precautions.